Now, I mentioned earlier that all steam pipes need to be insulated, and it's a good idea to also insulate the returns as well, because there is in, in science something called Henry's Law, named for uh, William Henry. If you, if you ever take my hot water class, I'll tell you a lot about him, because he's got a lot to do with air separators and compression tanks. And, but William Henry was, was the guy that, that uh, told us that gases dissolve in liquid in proportion to pressure and temperature. And on the return side of a system, when the condensate is allowed to cool too much, it begins to absorb that carbon dioxide that, that's in the system as a natural product of boiling water. When you boil water, you get carbon dioxide. And the carbon dioxide mixes with the condensate to form carbonic acid, which eats return lines and causes them to leak. But if you can maintain the temperature, to keep the water temperature hotter in the return lines by insulating them, you'll have less corrosion. So it does pay to insulate return lines, even though there's no steam in there. On the supply side, on the steam supply, it really pays to insulate because if you don't, you turn your steam mains into radiators and now suddenly you need a bigger boiler than you used to have. So this is asbestos. It's very dangerous. We've got to get rid of it. We don't do it ourselves. We bring in people that know what they're doing. Years ago, we didn't know what this was. We didn't know what, well, we knew what it was, but we thought it was nice. And we used to throw that at each other when we were in boiler rooms. We made snowballs and, and just have lots of fun with it. So we got to replace that with uh, fiberglass. And the fiberglass is, is safe and uh, looks like that. So this will give us a better way to keep the steam steam on its way to the radiators rather than condense in the, in the piping that's in the crawl space, you know, in the, in the garage and in the, inside the walls. We want the steam to be in the radiators. Now this chart here shows us the bare heat loss from horizontal bare steel pipe. So this is what happens if you remove asbestos and don't replace it with fiberglass. Let's say we've got a two and a half inch steam main. That's this here. Now this chart is just showing us that the steam would be at about 215 degrees. So we, we read up to this line and we see that the BTU loss per foot is about 260 BTUs per linear foot when you remove the asbestos and don't replace it with something suitable. Now a square foot of EDR is only 240. So, so your, your pipes become better than radiators as, as soon as you remove that. And your boiler is now heating crawl spaces and garages where there's no people and, and, uh, and inside walls where there's no people. It's crazy. So it pays to insulate pipes. Now, this shows you how much. There's a lot of numbers here. I'll just look quickly. It's number, number, blah, blah, blah. We go through some math here. We figure out the difference. And it's 49 BTUs. If we have, if we have uh, just one inch of fiberglass on that pipe, it drops from 49 BTUs Without it, it's 260 BTUs. So it's more than five times the amount of heat loss when we remove the asbestos and don't replace it with something as simple as one inch. The more insulation you use, if you use two inch, you know, it gets better. But, you know, the, the, more, the more you insulate, the better everything is. The quieter it is, the faster it is. It's just good for steam system.